Hey guys, welcome back. My artist, today is the last day of April and tomorrow will be May Day. So May 1st is May Day and it is a holiday that um, is celebrated all across um, the world, really. But it started in Europe and they just create like, or they just celebrate the beginning of, of spring. So uh, sometimes they have dances and celebrations. They um, have flowers. They plant flowers. So today we have been working this week. We made um, flowers in one of our previous videos. And then today we're going to make a vase to put our flowers in. Okay, so we just find any container. It can be, um, this is a spaghetti jar I'm going to use today, and you don't even have to take the label off because you're gonna cover it up. Um, this was an orange juice container. I have a pop bottle. Um, you wouldn't be able to fit as many flowers in here, but if you just made a couple, that would be perfect, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a piece of paper to fit this jar, and I've already done that. And I'm not good at making straight lines, just a secret. Not good at make cutting straight lines or drawing straight lines. So I made mine wavy on the top when I cut it. I did that on purpose. And then I'm gonna check, make sure this fits my jar. And it does, okay. And then I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna draw on my piece of paper flat, okay? So then I'll put it on when I'm completely done. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with a circle on my piece of paper, then I'm gonna do another circle. And we're just gonna make different kinds of flowers all throughout here. And then I'm gonna do in the middle here, I'm gonna make an X in the middle, and then I'm gonna put little dots in each section. Then right here, I'm gonna make small little humps or rainbow lines. A rainbow line is just an arch that looks like a rainbow, okay? And then I might here, I'm gonna make a zigzag line clear around my flower. Then I'm gonna do two parallel lines coming straight down. That means they don't touch. Then I'm gonna do a leaf. Okay. And then I'm gonna, and you know what? I might make another leaf here. Then I'm gonna move over a little ways and I'm gonna make a taller flower right behind this one. And I'm gonna do two circles again, okay? And this time I'm gonna do big, petals and with these petals I start narrow and then I get wider so as I get closer to the middle it's kind of narrow okay and then I'm going to just put little dots in the middle of this flower and then I'm going to make another stem and when I come down look I'm running into that leaf there so i'm going to pick up my marker and go on the other side so that it looks like this flower is behind this one then i'm going to make another leaf okay and i think i'll do lines in the middle of these petals okay then i'm going to make another flower just a little bit shorter than this one I'm going to do two circles again. Actually, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do four circles. Look at that. Okay. And then I think I'm going to make tiny little triangles all around. And if it's easier, you can turn your paper. Sometimes we don't think of turning our paper. And 
it's kind of harder if we don't. Her hand only turns so far. So I'm just going to keep turning my paper because I feel like that's easier. Okay, and then I'm going to make a stem and another petal. Okay, look at that. Now, if you wanted to add a butterfly in the middle, you could. So I'm going to make a long oval here, and then I'm going to make two big circles across from each other, and then two little circles with little antennas. Okay, there's my little butterfly. So then I'm going to make a smaller flower. So basically, all we're doing is starting each flower with a circle, okay? And just putting lines and decorating it. Then I'm going to make these petals come to a point. So they're kind of like these rounded ones up here, but they come to a point. Kind of like a sunflower does. Okay. Now, I'm going to do another one here. A little bit taller. Okay, and then I'm going to make big triangles. I did little triangles. I'm going to do big triangles. And then my stem. Okay, and then I think in this corner, I'm going to make kind of a curved line, and then I'm going to do small lines, short lines, small lines, short lines, small lines, short lines, small lines, short, or short lines, long line, lines. Man, I can't talk today. These are just going to be, this is going to be my sun here, and then below it, I'm going to do another flower, just a little flower. Okay, and I think I want to make my son smile. Okay, so then I'm going to take markers or crowns and I'm going to come back in and color my background. Now, because I chose pink paper, it's going to be a little bit, um, when I cover it, it's going to look a little bit different than it normally would if I did a white one like I did this one, okay? So, I'm just going to do orange lines and yellow lines, okay? And I'm going to color these. I'm hopping around because I already have a yellow marker in my hand. So I'm just, I colored that center yellow. Now I'm going to cover color these petals yellow. Sometimes that's easier than to keep putting down a marker and then going back or a crown. So I'm just hopping around here. A lot of times we keep the same crown in and then we color the thing completely and then we come back. But I thought, hey, I might as well, if I'm holding it, color everything I need. So all my stems are going to be green.
Okay, perfect. Then I'm going to add some grass down here with my green. Can you see? Just doing like zigzag lines all the way. And this is a lighter green. If you have a darker green, you could go back in. Okay, I'm going to keep coloring this and I'll come back and show you the finished product. Okay, so now we're all finished, and then we're going to take our jar, and then we're going to lay it here and put a little piece of tape. You can glue it as well if you want, whatever is easiest for you. And then I'm going to turn it and tape it again to make it nice and secure. Okay, and then, voila! Here is my little vase, and you can take flowers and put your flowers in, all right, and deliver it to your neighbors for May Day. This will just be something to say, hey, I'm thinking of you and I care, and you can do it with social distancing. You can just put it on their porch and leave, all right? <clears throat> Happy May Day, all, and I want to see what you did. You could take pictures and post them for me. I'd love to see them. All right, guys, happy creating.